Hi, it's Daniel, it's me. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. I hope you had a great day today already or your day started really great. Um, you have seen it in the title. Today, I would like to talk about CI CD systems and what this is all about and why they are really helpful for us as software testers. So the title of today's uh, presentation is CI CD tools, software testers best friend. And if those devices, not devices, but if those services or like products are our best friends, let's find it out. As always, leave a like, leave a subscription, share it with your network to support me. And now let's take a look what are CI CD systems all about. So what is a CI CD system? CI CD stands for continuous integration and continuous delivery or deployment. Yeah, so these are behind the acronyms in case you haven't know, you didn't know. So, and, and basically it aims to streamline and ex 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 accelerate, I'm sorry for today, uh, wrong words, accelerate software development. So that's the main goal of CI CD system to build something to streamline a process of building and releasing products. And CI refers here to the practice of automatically and frequently integrate code changes. So that's the continuous integration. So in case developers coding something, he or she is doing some local testing and do some merging to the, to the repository and then some processes are going to trigger and we see that in a second. And CD is the next step and refers to testing deployment to the code changes. So something needs to be delivered. So we test something, we deliver to the testing pipeline. Once the tests are passed, we can do the deployment. And then CI CD process is fully automated. I mean, that's, I, I think I never have seen any manual CI CD pipelines and this doesn't make any sense because that's one of the biggest benefits that you can get as a development team. You have a complete automated process on how you integrate code, how you test it, how you deploy it and how you manage it on the servers. And yeah, and also, of course, it delivers great insights into the product quality for us as software testers. So that's why it's really important for you. If you haven't done it before, um, you should be integrated and involved in the whole CI CD pipelines and processes because it gives you a great insight into product quality. Sorry for the little interruption. I would like to thank you ShiftSync, the main sponsor of today's video for supporting my YouTube channel. Are you tired of feeling isolated in your work as a tester, developer or DevOps specialist? Want to be part of a community that is passionate about innovation, collaboration and cutting edge technology? Look no further than ShiftSync. The goal of ShiftSync is to create a dynamic and engaging space for developers, testers and industry leaders to share knowledge and grow professionally across all boards. Quality is more than testing and such sharing with collaboration will help improve the software development lifecycle on every stage. At the ShiftSync community, you can also attend webinars for, from industry leaders for free. In the past, there have been webinars about load testing, DevOps, exploratory testing and more. And today I'm proud to tell you that I'm one of the next webinar hosts on the ShiftSync community. In my webinar on the 20th of March, I'm going to talk about unleashing the power of AI and software testing. Sounds great, right? And if you would like to not miss that webinar, make sure to follow the link in the video description below to sign up for free if, if you haven't done so far. And you can also attend my webinar for free for sure. I'm going to talk about different topics from what to expect from an AI, will AI harm software testers? What are current AI features that we can already use in our daily lives as software testers? So make sure to sign up to the ShiftSync community and to attend my webinar. In case you're watching this video after the 20th of March, no matter, no worries, no problem. Just go ahead and check the link down below, sign up on the ShiftSync community and see the webinar recording afterwards. So see you soon and happy testing. And now back to the main video. So CI CD main features. So what are main features of a system? Um, so all this is, um, all of the main, like all of the ICD system that I'm going to show you later on, they have the same goal to automate the build, test and release the process. So that's always the main goal of everything. Yeah? All of them support basically all the major programming languages that are on the market. 
um, the CI/CD systems are either cloud-based or on-premise. Uh, on premise. So either you can decide to install it on your own servers or you can use an, a hosted version in the cloud. Um, many of the systems, they uh, integrate with third-party services such as Docker, Kubernetes, IDEs, cloud providers and many, many more things. I think there's almost everything that you can put into a CI-CD system um, in case it can be or has an API, a programmable API, so you can integrate it as well. Um, the CI-CD systems, they have different ways of defining the pipelines and the workflows. I will highlight that in a second as well. So that's the main features. And what testers can do with CI-CD? So that's the most important question, I would say, right? So what can we achieve with the CI-CD system? We can configure and execute test automation. Yes, that's what we can do. We can define the different staging systems. We can define the different testing frameworks, testing types that we would like to execute in a specific state of the process. We can scale test automation to run in parallel. Yes, in case you're using a cloud provider or you have like your own, um, let's say, browser com uh, configuration setup in your company or you have your mobile devices connected somewhere, you can scale the automation with the CI-CD pipeline. You can orchestrate basically all the tests running on the CI-CD system to run on a specific set of, of browsers and a specific set of devices. Um, integrate third-party services such as Divide Clouds. That's what I just mentioned before. So in case you would like to scale your automation, your, um, your browser automation, or your mobile automation, you can use services like Source Labs, Browser Stack, uh, Lambda Test, pCloudy in order to achieve this scalability. Of course, they create test reports. So in case you execute a test from a CI CD system, a test report will be generated for you and you can um, integrated in the results of the of the system in a dashboard for you to know to for you to use you can collect the logs so we have access to the log files so in case something's happening on production not on production during the testing phase you can see the logs uh, you can automate the configuration of the test environment yes that is also something you can do in for example in the preconditioned state so you say okay before the tests are running we have to initialize a docker setup we have to put in test data and stuff like that generate something up front before we can start with the automation. We can automate the test data management. Yes, this is similar to, for me, to test environment configuration. If you have, let's say, test data in some test databases, you can bring them up, up front to prepare the test environment, the devices, and then you can execute the test. You can configure static code analyzer tools. That's also really important. For example, to do some check styling of the code, uh, some, some linting, things that you can also configure up front. Something I would recommend you to do together with the developers because that's also really interesting insights for them to get. And yeah, that's that's basically the next bullet point that I brought over here. Collaborate with the developers because they also um, benefit from all the things that I mentioned before with the automation scalability. That's something a complete development team can only benefit from. That's why we as software testers should bring this quality perspective to CI CD systems. Yeah? So how does a simple CI CD pipeline look like? So let's assume we have some code, so some developers doing a git push to the repository. So that's basically the initial trigger. And if this trigger is implemented or like is listened to, we can trigger the build phase. So on build phase, we can say we compile the code or we ramp up a Docker build or we prepare the, I don't know, some other build steps, the environment and stuff like that. We do like all the things that we need to do from a build perspective. Once the build is successful, we pass on to the testing phase of the pipeline. And we can say we run the static checks, we do the unit testing, we do integration testing, API testing, system testing, end-to-end -end UI testing, visual checks, whatever is on your mind, right? That you can define here in this process. And if everything is good to go, everything passed basically, then we do the deployment. We have the deployment stage. We can say, okay, before we, we do like our releases, depending on your, on your cycle, we pre deploy to a staging system. We deploy to another QA system for some manual regression testing, for example, or some exploratory testing. Or in case everything is fine, 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 you go and publish to production. Yeah, everything streamlined from a CI CD pipeline. And as I said, that's just a simple version of a pipeline. So, disclaimer, what is this disclaimer all about? I would like to show you some of the CI CD systems on the market. And as it's written down here, the following CI CD tools are just an excerpt of many CI CD systems and tools. Yeah? 
This is, I have done some research on common CI-CD systems that I found online that I know are used frequently by product teams, development teams, and I brought them over here. And there are lots of others, yeah? Do your own research to find a tool that fits best for your needs. That's important. So let's get right into it. The first one, I mean, that's the most obvious one, right? The most popular one, I would say. The, the, uh, maybe it's also one of the first uh, one tools that I used in my career. It's Jenkins. Yeah, it's a Java-based cross-platform open source CI CD system. You can just download the, 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 the project, um, install it on your system, it being it iOS, uh, not, not iOS, being it Windows, um, Mac or Linux, and you can run it. It's a powerful tool and you can, it's an easy setup, as I said before. It has a really large community of, of, of developers and of companies doing it. It has lots of integrations with third-party tools, so it's really easy to, to, um, yeah, to extend to the Jenkins environment. That's already what I say. And if I remember, one of the first slides that I mentioned, the CI CD systems, what they have in common, I mentioned already before, and that replies also for, for Jenkins, like programming languages and whatnot. Uh, the next one is Team City. It's maintained by JetBrains. It's free to use for open source projects in case you're doing and working on open source. You can, it's free to use in case you're doing some not open source related projects, you have to pay for it. It has an integration to Azure DevOps, for example, or to Jira. Um, it has integrations to services such as Docker, Maven, Visual Studio, and more. And that's already for Team City. So I, as you can see, I'm really rushing through the, some of the uh, features on top that I have found. Some of them are like similar for other CI CD systems, but my idea is just to give you a really good overview of the existing CI CD systems and then do your own research on top. So, Circle CI, it's a cloud or server based CI CD system. Um, it offers pipelines as so called workflows, so you can have, find your own workflows. It's a bit different look and feel how to do that, but easy to do. Um, support for majority of programming languages. And again, also lots of integrations for other systems. Travis CI, it's like Jenkins, one of the early CI CD systems. It different service offerings for open source and enterprise projects, also depending on what you're building on. Um, so you have to decide this upfront. Um, it has a lot of support for programming languages or so up to 30 programming languages. That's really cool. Uh, it uses YAML like syntax to define the workflows. It's also worth mentioning. GitLab CI. Um, yeah, it's built into GitLab. For those of you who are using GitLab, you should also use GitLab CI because it's, it's built in. Uh, it's also cross-platform CI CD system, so it can run on all the operating systems. That's great. It has a great uh, developer API to work on deeper integrations into your systems, so that's also cool. Uh, it has a user-friendly interface, and that's about GitLab. Bamboo. Bamboo is a CI CD system developed by Atlassian. Um, also a cross-platform, run on, runs on all the platforms that are out there, Microsoft, uh, Linux, or Apple. It has a seamless integration, of course, with Jira or Bitbucket, since it's coming from Atlassian. So if you're completely on Atlassian products, maybe Bamboo might be a CI CD system for you. And many third-party integrations. Um, Semaphore CI, it's out-of-the-box support for monorepo um, support projects. So that's also something that you can keep in mind in case you have a monorepo. Uh, it's a cross-platform CI CD as well as Android and iOS. So that's cool. It's also built, has built in iOS and Android capabilities in mind in case you're working only on mobile. Um, seamless integration with GitHub and Bitbucket and also like many third-party integrations. Maybe at this point I could also bring up to the very first slide because this is usually the case for all CI CD systems that they are like have really open doors for our APIs to plug in other systems and that's important. Uh, Bitrise, um, one of these CI CD systems with focus on mobile projects, that's really cool. It has a really good integration with GitLab, GitHub and it offers more features for mobile apps like performance insight. That's really cool. Also like the, um, I think that's my next point. Yes, it's the, the simple user interface. So you can you have really nice user interface and you can drag and drop the different things that you would like to do with your systems, with your mobile apps. And then you can just plug in, okay, I would like to have some performance insight in that step. I would like to test here that. And this is really cool from a visual point of view. Check it out. Um, GitHub Actions, also something that is really cool to check out. It introduced by GitHub in 2018. Uh, of course, it has a seamless integration into GitHub. If you're on GitHub, GitHub Actions might be a way for you to check out. 
it's really easy to create workflows. That's really cool. And again, a lot of third party integrations. And that brings me already to my summary. So I was really rushing uh, through the different CI CD systems. So bear with me if I missed something. Um, the idea that I would like to bring you is like, what is the CI CD system about? How can you use it as a software tester? In case you never worked with the CI CD system, go and do it. So what's the summary? CI CD systems must be the standard in every project. I mean, there should be no project on this planet out there who is not running on a CI CD system. Um, that's that's for sure. It's, it's it must be there. Yeah. So make use of the power of the CI CD systems. Um, what I showed you before is like you can do a lot of configurations, automation, scalability that you have uh, in, in in your hands to use um, together with the CI CD system and use it because it saves you a lot of time. Um, in case you never worked with a CI CD system, learn about it. Make sure to learn all about CI CD systems. Check and talk to developers what systems are you using already and then take it from there. Um, you should work closely with the developers. I just said it. They have usually the knowledge of it or like your DevOps engineers and learn about it. Yeah? And then, of course, integrate all your testing work into a CI CD system if possible. So if you have access to the CI CD system, invest time to get into the system and then to integrate all your testing work, like ramping up test environment, setting up the test data, preparing their devices and stuff like that. Automate as much as possible to, to free up your time in doing like exploratory testing, for example, or others. Yeah, So that's important. Yeah, and that's it for today. So let me know what kind of CI CD system are you using in your product, in your project. I would love to hear. Also, maybe you can share some of your configurations, what you're doing with the CI CD system. Maybe you can share some, some, some fails with the CI CD system and some successes. Also interesting to learn about. And thanks for coming by. As always, like it, share it and subscribe it. As always, thanks for, for joining today and see you next time.